DIY cardboard bench. Hey guys, Heat of Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one and I was asked to recreate this awesome bench using cardboard. Now I'm going to be using the cardboard that is usually at the back of a large photo frame. I've got a lot of these because I do use the acrylic sheets that's on the photo frame and leave the back because they're hard and I know that I was going to use it for a project. So in this project, I'm going to be using three of those hard boards. Before I go any further, I'm going to be drawing out the pattern that I want on a poster board. That way I can have it and fold it and replicate the same look on the hard cardboard. And this is to make sure that the pattern throughout the design remains the same. Bear with me guys, there's going to be a lot of cleaning and adjusting, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get a pattern that will look similar to the inspiration photo. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is the first shape that I made. Now I'm gonna fold it and trace out the same thing on the other side. That way I know that both sides of this design are gonna be the same. The next thing I'm going to do is add some sort of pattern again somewhere in the middle. I'm using a sharp exacto knife. To carve out the shape that I want, but then you can also use a sharp box cutter. I made three of these cuts. Now one of it is going to be cut into two and that will be for the sides. I'll trace out the shape on this thick wood that I got from Home Depot. And I'm going to be making two of these for two sides. Because I don't have the advanced cutting tool, all I have is a jigsaw. I'm going to leave the pattern for the wood to look like this and then make the cuts. I use a thick piece of wood for this and like I said I made two of these. Now this size of wood is okay for me but if you have a thicker wood you can use that as well. 
This is a dowel that I got from Home Depot and I'm gonna be cutting it down to size for my project. After adding the tack nails, I decided to fortify it even more by adding corner braces on four sides of the bench. I'll be adding more wooden dowels at the ends of the pattern right here on this side and on the other side as well. I'll be attaching foam at the top and I didn't have the thickness of foam that I want. What I had was half inch foam. So I'm gonna be having the first one, the second one, and the third one to give me a thickness of one and a half inches. I'll be making points on this foam. That's about six inches apart. And I'm gonna be making holes on these points using a pair of scissors. After that, I'm going to be covering it with batting. A lot of people have asked why I used batting. I do use batting because it makes the end result look smoother than without the batting. I'll be using a white vinyl for this project. This is a heavy duty staple gun that I'll be using to make my tufts. Now all I'm doing is locating where the holes are and stapling it down. I'm gonna stop right here and add the cardboard cutout that I made to the wood and to the sides of the bench. I'm gonna cut some of the bling wrap to cover up the rough edges that I have on the design. This can be done after spray painting, but I'm putting mine on before I spray paint because I want the bling wrap to be the same color with the outer face of the whole bench when I'm done. Now on the other side, 
I used hot glue to cover up the rough edges, just to see what it was going to look like. I'm also going to be using hot glue to make extra lines for the design. I covered the top of the bench and took it out and I spray painted it gold. This is a decorative onlay that I spray painted gold and attached it at the upper part of the bench. I'm also going to be attaching easels to the corners of the bench. Now here's what the bench looks like. Now I have two things that's wrong with my bench. The curls at the bottom are small. They're supposed to be bigger. And the hot glue pattern that I used turned out to be not so straight. Now I wished I had used something else instead of hot glue, like a styrofoam, and then draw out the pattern on the styrofoam. But one thing that I can say though is that the pattern still looks okay. And I also love the way the easels gave it a nice look at the corners. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.